Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on Thursday. One of the things I love about our garden is that uh, the variety of creatures and wildlife come to visit. And we have here this um, beautiful photograph of a, a butterfly. All those wonderful colours on the butterfly's wings and the delicateness of the flowers uh, just reminds me of the awesomeness of God's creation. Let's just still our hearts and minds as we come to pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Set my heart on fire with love for you, O Christ my God, that in its flame I may love you with all my heart, all my soul, and with all my strength, and my neighbour as myself, so that keeping your commandments I may glorify you, the giver of all good gifts. Amen. Our reading this morning is John chapter 12 verses 3 to 6. Then Mary took about half a litre of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus's feet and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He didn't say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. We may have some initial sympathy for Judas, feeling that this was an unnecessary extravagance which could have been put to better use. And from the other gospel accounts, he wasn't the only disciple to voice his disapproval. It isn't wrong to speak up for and want to help those in need. But this was a unique moment. The Son of God, who had already sacrificed so much to live on earth as a human, was now facing even greater sacrifices, being killed as a criminal, and worse, being separated from God the Father as he took on the sins of the world. And the thing is that Judas actually had no interest in helping those who were poor. He wanted the money for himself. I think that sometimes we can say the right things, but our hearts may not be in the right place. Our words can mask our true feelings. We might seem to be thinking of others, but our motivation might be tainted by what is in our own interests. So as you go about your day, at home, at school or at work, in the things you say and do, ask yourself, what is my motivation? Do I want what God wants in this situation? Or am I thinking of myself? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen.